Let's take the limit as x approaches 2 of 1 over quantity x minus 2 squared. Well, if you plug in 2, you get 1 over 0. So step 1, plug it in. That doesn't work because it's undefined. Step 2, algebra gymnastics. Well, we can't really cancel out x minus 2 squared with anything on top, so we can't do that. Now we've got to move on to step 3. We're going to assume that we have a vertical asymptote at x equals 2. Now let's analyze both sides of x equals 2 appropriately. We know that it's either going to negative or positive infinity, so let's figure out which side it's actually going to. So we'll take the limit as x approaches 2 from the negative side of 1 over quantity x minus 2 squared. Now let's take a look at a number that's 0.1 to the left of 2, like for example 1.9. Now if you plug in 1.9 you get 1.9 minus 2 is negative 0.1 but when you square that it becomes positive. So we have a positive over a positive well, that's going to go off to positive infinity. If we were to take the limit as x approaches 2 from the positive side of 1 over quantity x minus 2 squared, let's choose a number that's 0.1 to the right of 2. How about 2.1? 2.1 minus 2 is 0.1. If you square that, that's still going to be positive. We have a positive over a positive. That's still going off to positive infinity. So this function to the left of 2 is approaching infinity, to the right of 2 is also approaching infinity, and therefore the limit is equal to infinity. If you look at the graph of it that we have from Wolfram Alpha, we can see that as x approaches 2 from the negative side, we're going off to infinity. And from the right hand side, we're still going off to infinity and therefore the limit is infinity.